So here we are. Microsoft has probably pissed off everyone who uses Windows this morning. They definitely pissed me off, so hey, here we are. This is the first time I've recorded a webcam video in a long time, but you brought me out of retirement, Microsoft. You did it. Not all the not all the demands from my fans or all the the discipline and lack of laziness in the world could make me do what you're making me do out of anger right now. So, congratulations. Let's go. What did they do? They 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 pushed Microsoft Edge in my face and everybody's face this morning. I had a giant Microsoft Edge window that I couldn't close or avoid. I had to say yes, take me through the get me started using Microsoft Edge. And on top of that, to add insult to injury, they plastered a Microsoft Edge icon on my desktop, on my quick bar, and in my whatever the hell this is search bar. Re recommended you use Microsoft Edge. You already put it in my face when I booted up this morning, and you made me update last night. And what was that update last night for? Probably just to add Microsoft Edge and nothing else. I am so tired of Microsoft forcing updates on us especially when we don't even know what's in the updates or if we value the updates you're just forced to do so it's and isn't this what microsoft got sued for before when they forced that people to use or didn't force people but they they by default had their browser loaded onto windows and packaged with windows and they were com out competing netscape and all that they got sued for that i feel like they need to get sued again, because they're just going way too far. But what do you guys think? I'm very eager to know. Are you outraged? Am I am I too outraged for nothing? Do you, do you hate Microsoft? Do you like Microsoft? Because recently, Microsoft's been doing a lot of updates where they just say, Oh, would you like to do it now or later? Because you have to update. And then, and, and if you say no to the reminders, they'll sometimes pop up the reminders, and they do the reminders of the updates in such an asinine way. And it's just, Microsoft has been poking the angry part of my brain again and again with a stick, and I am sick and tired of it, and I'm making this video, and I want you, I, I want you all to speak out, because if there was another operating system that was good for video games, that played all the video games without fail, if there was an operating system all about video games, I would be there on that operating system in a heartbeat, in a lightning bolt, strike of a lightning bolt. Like, I would be there, but there just isn't. It's by default. Microsoft has a monopoly on gamers who want to play the most games, and it's sickening me right now, because... I don't know. I, like, is there is there a better operating system for that? Maybe there is, and I'm just not aware of it. Like, that's another thing that Microsoft does very well, is just capitalize on people's ignorance. So, uh, in any case, yeah, I'm frustrated with Microsoft. I'm tired of their garbage, and they keep pushing. And so, well, anyways, uh, I'm 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 in front of the camera now. I'm running out of steam, but. It's, it's good to have the camera up again, I guess. I might do more videos with the camera, but the whole thing about the camera was like, well, one, uh, I worry about like things getting on camera that like I wouldn't want to have gone camera, obviously. I mean, it's just an extra step with editing and stuff like that. But like, it's, I find myself more productive when I'm not using a camera because I don't have to worry about a thing. I can just, just play what's on the screen and not worry about how I look or if there's like an envelope with my address in the background or something like that. You know, like just there, there's layers of safety that I have to think about when using the camera and my camera's very old and I can see that the frame rate isn't what it should be. This camera can get more frames per second, but it's kind of slow. But anyways, I just, I just came out of retirement very suddenly with the webcam because I'm just so damn pissed off and I didn't like, you know, I don't, I'm, I, I, I clean myself up very quickly, but I wasn't ready to get on camera these days, but like, or get on camera, but it's COVID these days. So I guess people don't care if you're unkempt. So that's cool. Uh, so I guess that's one thing that one less reason to not get on camera, I suppose. But, uh, yeah, anyways, this has been a rant. This has been a vlog. Uh, very eager to see if more people are out just as angry as I am, because that just got me out of bed. Got, it just, I, it's like waking up on the wrong side of the bed, 
having to deal with that first thing in the morning. And when I shut down last night, you have to update before you shut your computer down. I just want to shut my computer down, but it's like, no, we're updating now, and if you shut down, you're going to screw up your operating system. Just please, Microsoft, just let me update when I want to update. And, and then when you update, don't update me for the most asinine reasons, okay? All right. Welcome, Microsoft, welcome to the Hall of Shame. You, you're our first member. I might talk about other things in the Hall of Shame, like, uh, oh, like Burger King did something really atrocious to streamers. It had a really, really bad advertising campaign recently, but I might make that another episode of what might become a new series, because there are things that companies like this do, and it gets me very angry, and I can rant about this stuff all day long, so, uh, if, if you enjoyed it, maybe I'll do another one. Anyways... Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time in a video game video, most likely. Bye-bye!